welcome back to this last video that will hopefully enable you to tackle um, all of these different questions in a green, greenfoot task and uh, the last one we added a sound which was fairly straightforward adding a sound for when we remove a, an iceberg from the world and in this last one we're going to add a counter and edit the ship's code so that the counter displays how many icebergs have been broken so if we look at what's already supplied in the editor this is uh, the counter class and this will show us where or what will be displayed so zero will be displayed uh, in white text on a black background and it's there's a method in that the counter class called bump count that takes in an integer variable and that will add one to um, or add whatever we send to it as long as it's a whole number to the variable total count and then it will update the image on the screen uh, to include the, the, the score as it, as it were um, in the top left hand corner so we know we've got this bump count method we can use and we know we've got a counter that a uh, counter object that we can um, utilize so first things first in our world because this is where we want to place our counter let's bring this code over here um, right at the top there I'm going to make a new variable of type counter and I'm going to call it the counter okay so we're making a variable there of type counter and then when we're preparing our world what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that variable the counter what I've just made and I'm going to make it equal to a new instance of the counter which we know exists in our counter class I'm going to add the object which again we call new counter uh, the counter I'm going to add that to our world I'm going to put that at the top left hand corner so cell 00, zero. so if I compile this now you'll be able to see that we've got zero uh, at the top there now, this isn't going to do anything yet but at least we've got our counter orientated in the place that we want it one other thing I'll have to do in the world is I'm just going to pop another method in there I can pop this I guess under here and I'll pop another method in there called public counter get counter and that will allow me to grab that counter and all I want to do is return the variable the counter so what that will allow me to do is with the counter that's initialized here and added to the world I can kind of grab that when I need it and then I will be able to send um, a variable to that or increment the variable to that or add one to it every time I want to be able to um, grab an iceberg or break an iceberg it will increment this value by one so that's kind of some housekeeping I suppose that we've done um, we've pop, popped the code in the in the ocean to, to place it into the world and we've enabled ourselves to to be able to get whatever that counter is by um, making a method in there so lastly in the ship what I'm going to do we've already used uh, some stuff here for if we interact with an iceberg so we can remove it and we can play a sound but now what we can also do is we can say well when we've played the sound or either we could do it either before or after we've played the sound uh, the counter counter equals ocean dot get counter so I'm now using that method that I just made to grab the counter so that I can use it within the ship's code and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the method that exists within that for the bump count and I'm just going to send it one because I'm just going to add one every time I collect or break an iceberg so I'm going to reset the code and run this and hopefully when I run this uh, when I move the ship around if it interacts with a 
iceberg or shares the same space, then you'll hear a popping sound, it'll remove it from the world and it will add one to the counter. There we go, there's the first one, second one. Chase, the, chase these icebergs down now for the rest of the video. Um, one left. There we go. So now we've got four in the top left hand corner. So it's successfully counted our icebergs. And it did that by making one variable there of type counter, making a new instance of the object counter and adding it to the world adding one method to be able to grab that counter and then with the ship we have got the counter to be able to work with it in this class and added one to it using the bump count method so in summary looking at the uh, the paper that we started with all you'd have to do now is to save your final world uh, as final icebreaker so save as and then final icebreaker and you would hopefully have grabbed all the marks for the greenfoot section of the code good luck